In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a high converting sales funnel for drop servicing. If you don't know what drop servicing is, or service arbitrage, it's a similar business model to drop shipping, but better. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you do here, my name's Liam James K, and this channel is all about entrepreneurship, marketing, and making money online. So if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on the next video. Now, this video is gonna be all about building a sales funnel for a drop servicing business. Now, if you don't know what drop servicing business is, you've probably not seen my recent video um, where I explained this business model, but I'll give you a quick overview of what it is now, and then I'm gonna dive into the computer and show you how to build a sales funnel for this today. So drop servicing, it's a similar business model to drop shipping, where basically we create a website, we offer a service, for various different things, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. And then when someone comes to our website and purchases this service, like a design service or a logo design or something like that, we don't do that, we don't fulfill that. We just go and order that from somewhere cheaper, like Fiverr, and then send it back to the, the person who's buying it. So it's very similar to drop shipping where we're not doing any of the work, we're just outsourcing and making the profit on top. So it's a great business model and loads of people commented on the previous video asking me to go into detail about actually building a sales funnel because they like the sales funnel in that video. So that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna show you how to build a sales funnel similar to one that I used in the previous video. Okay, so this is the sales funnel which I showed in my previous video, which has actually led to this video because so many people saw this and they were asking me, can you show me how you built that? Can you show me how you created it? It looks super professional. So that's why I've decided to create this video. But this is the concept if you didn't watch that. It's, um, this is basically a web page offering a service. The service on this page is book cover designs. So all we do is someone is looking for, an author is looking for a book cover design. They go to Google, they type in book cover design. We appear on Google because we're running adverts to this page. They come down here, they click get started, they purchase. So in this instance, they wanna buy an ebook for a Kindle that they're, they're launching. They wanna get an ebook cover design. They purchase on our website, give us the details on the next page. So they fill out a form asking us for those details. I then go to that form at the end of the day or get a VA to do it. And then I place the orders on Fiverr where people are doing these book cover designs for like $10. And then once they've created that book design on Fiverr, I send it back to the person that purchased and I keep the profit. And that is the concept. So in this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually build a similar sales funnel to this um, using a different service. I'm gonna show you like finding the service as well. And I'm actually gonna show you like building it from scratch just so you can see it from start to finish. Now the good thing about this, this sales funnel is it looks good but it also serves a very, very important purpose, which is why it's got high conversions. Now, it looks like a traditional, almost like a traditional looking web page, um, but we're just trying to get the people that come to this page to do one thing, and that is to order from us. So you'll notice that even though it's got this little menu at the top, which looks like it leads through to different pages, they actually just lead through to different areas of this page. Look, it's just below there and our work, it's there. So the only one place they can go is they can keep scrolling down to this place here where they're gonna purchase from us. And that's the difference between a sales funnel and a traditional website. Because the traditional website would just send someone off if they clicked our work, they'd go onto a separate page looking at their work, they'd get lost somewhere else, and there'd be no button for them to actually check out. And that really uh, decreases conversions. So with this page, this sales funnel, we're just trying to get people to purchase and you'll see here there's a get started button which does the same thing a get started button there and every time it's just bringing them back down to this there's a get started button there and there you go and there's a checkout button which leads through to the checkout page so that's what i'm going to show you building in this video but with a different service so i did a little bit of research before i started this video to kind of find a service but you can just come onto fiverr and you can have a look and you can almost do it for anything you can look down here, like you could do a logo design service, you could do game designs, you can do anything. Now, I was having a little think before. I mean, I wouldn't do logo designs because I think it's a little bit oversaturated and there's so many apps you can do it yourself now quite easily. So I probably wouldn't go for that. 
Um, but just have a look what you can you can choose on here. But the key to making this work, in my opinion, is focus on a really specific service and specific niche. You don't want to come into this and going, I'm going to start a graphic design agency and I'm going to create a sales funnel offering all types of graphic design and then I'm going to come on here and I'm going to be able to do brochure designs and logo designs and then I'm going to make loads of money because loads of different audiences are going to be coming to the same page. That's not what you want to do. You don't want to do it with like a digital marketing agency. One, because there's so much competition out there. There's like massive digital marketing agencies and graphic design agencies. Um, but we kind of want to stand out as being like the go-to guys for a certain service. So that's why I created, very matter of fact, the Creative Book Company. It kind of says what we're about. We specialize in one thing, which means when someone's searching on Google, they come straight to that page. We know exactly what we do and they know that we do it well. And that is the really most important thing. So you really want to niche down. So I was having a look around and what I've decided to do for this example is, is do something which is a little bit niche, which you probably wouldn't even think about. Um, but this here, you can see these examples I've been looking at, but it's um, basically design mock-ups for apps. So mobile apps that you get on your phone, um, when someone's got an idea for an app, before they actually create the app, they need to create a mock-up for that app, which just shows kind of what it would look like, the design and the user experience, the user interface, I think it stands for UI. Um, so people get designers to create these, so then they can pitch it to someone to invest in the app, or they might want to give it to the person who's coding the app, who's doing like the technical stuff. Um, and I thought, well, is there enough people who want this service. So I did a bit of research and this is what you should do if you want to do this. Go to Google Keyword Planner and then I typed in like app prototype, app mock-up, app design mock-up to see how many people are looking for that service every month. And as you can see, it's quite a lot. It's got 100 to 10 to 1K there for that one. But this, this keyword here, app mock-up, 10,000 to 100,000 people are searching for that every month and it's got low competition. So that's why I decided this is gonna be a good one to go for. It's pretty niche, but we're gonna be the specialists in this. So let's get into it. So the, the funnel building software, which I use is Kartra. If you wanna do this along with me and like follow as I go along, you can sign up for a trial, a $1 trial of Kartra using my affiliate link below. But because so many people were asking for it in the previous video, asking me how I did this, I'm actually giving away this done for you template for this creative book company um, sales funnel. So if you sign up with my link, I'll share this exact one into your Kartra account so you can edit it yourself and change it for your service. Um, but I'm also gonna show you how to build one from scratch anyway in this video. So you've got best of both worlds, but also if you use my link, I'm giving away some epic bonuses as well, extra bonuses, including Google Ads training, and you'll need to sign up for a trial. So anyway, I'm gonna get into it now. I'm gonna build this sales funnel from scratch and it's really easy with Kartra because they've got a lot of pre-made templates as well. So it's not gonna take as long as you think. But the way Kartra works is they actually want you to build your funnel backwards, which is quite interesting, um, where you actually create your product first, which make, it actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. You create your product first, then you create your thank you page, then you create your page. So that means you can li link everything up backwards so it all works perfectly rather than creating your your first page of your funnel and then not having anything to link it to then you have to go to your your thank you page and then get the link of that once you've done it and go back so it's a lot of messing around so the easiest way to build a funnel in Kartra is to start with your product and work your way backwards so that's what I'm going to do here now so all you would do is just go to products in Kartra um, and everything's separated in Kartra so the product is separate to the pages and that's why you link it up backwards so then what we do here is we click on the green button down here to add a new product and then you can just name it here and I mean this but this video is going to be like quite I'm going to be setting boring things up at first and then we're going to get to like the creative side of building it and stuff a little bit later on but this is all really important information if you want to know about sales funnel building and how it all works um, so we're going to put the product name here so it's going to be the app design and it's gonna be the main products which we're offering. So obviously in a sales funnel as well, we can have multiple upsells um, later on. I'm gonna to touch on that in a moment, but I'm gonna add in the main product. So all you do is you come here and you just name the product. So 
we just we can just take it from Fiverr. So it's a mobile app user interface mock-up. So this is going to be the official name which appears on their like bank statements and when they're actually checking out. Um, and then we can just, I'll just put that in as a description. We want to keep it private for this one. And then you connect your payment processor. I'm just going to connect my Stripe account. And then we click save on that one. Save and next. So this is where we're actually going to add the product pricing. So we're going to go back to our Fiverr or the place where we're going to be ordering from Fiverr. And as you can see here, they've got three different plans. So they've got a basic one where they'll do a one page design. We've got a standard one where they're going to do a three page design, which costs £38, like $50 probably. Um, and then a premium one where they'll do a five page design for £60, which is probably about $100. I'm not too sure of the conversion rate. So there's three plans. So that's good because we're just going to use that same setup. We're going to offer a one page design. We're going to offer a three page design and we're going to offer a five page design. So obviously we need to make profit in this and mark up. So I think this is really cheap for app designs. Like the good thing about Fiverr is it's super, super cheap. So like if I was looking for an app design for my app that I thought was going to be the next best thing, I'd be more than happy to pay more than £12 for a one-page design. So I'm just going to add like I times that by 10 really and I probably still could sell some. And this is what you would do. You would kind of test the market and see how much they're prepared to pay. But we'll just, I'm just going to round it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do $100 for the basic one, $97 for the basic one, um, 200 then 300 just to make it easy. And the good thing about Kartra is you can have multiple prices for the same product. So it's ultimately the same product that we're selling. So we only need the one checkout, but we're going to have multiple price points. So it's a one-time payment. It's just going to be like, and then here it asks for price description, but this is where we're actually going to add. So it's going to be, basic we can just put one page design here and then we're going to charge 97 dollars and then we're going to add another one one time payment it's a three page design for 197 okay and then you can play around with these prices Click save. We don't need to mess around with shipping costs. We don't need to mess around with sales tax. You can have a refund policy on there if you wish to offer a refund policy. Click save and next. So you would also connect a domain, um, which we're just going to configure that later. And the thank you page we can configure later. And the checkout. And the great thing about Kartra checkouts is um, you can either have freedom to design them or they've got really high converting pre-made ones. So we're just going to use a, a Kartra hosted checkout page. Um, we're not going to have a logo on it. We're not going to do that. We're just going to take first name, last name, email, country and state. Um, we'll use the full checkout experience. And then what you can do here is if they abandon the cart, so they start to place an order, we can actually um, add a tag, add a tag. So you choose price point one. I'm just going to do multi price point for now. And it's no category in particular. I'm going to create a tag. So what this does, this is going to tag anyone which starts to purchase, but they don't complete the purchase. So then what we can do later on is we can go into our email software, which is included in Kartra, set up a sequence which sends someone an email um, if they get this tag. So what that does, that helps you get even more sales when people, because a lot of people go to start to purchase something and then back out. So what you could do is you could have an email set up when they get this tag added, they receive an email offering them 20% off. Like, we notice you didn't complete checkout, do you want 20% off? And then do that. So it's really powerful what you can do with the tagging. So um, I'll do it. you can add categories if you want to organize it a bit better, but I've not created a category for this. And then you just add them tags there. I'm not going to do it in this video because it's going to take too long, but you would add them for each of the price points. And you could, in theory, add a different tag for a different price point. So, and then you can send a different email out, but that's if you want to get more um, advanced, but you don't need to do that if you don't want to. That's fine. That's fine. And then you can add upsell offers in here as well. I'm not going to add an upsell offer for this funnel just because I want this video not to take too long. 
and then here you complete the information for post sale, which is obviously after they purchased. Um, you can add them to a specific list, an email list, which you can connect. I'm not going to connect that now, but you just click change, connect it to an email list which you created. And again, that's so you can send them um, specific information or you can retarget them later on. You can also tag the customers there. Um, and then here it says accessing your product, pr product content. But in this, we're not actually going to give them anything. So there's no membership, there's no um, downloadable file. So you just click no access for now, um, because what we're going to do is redirect them to a thank you page, which we create. And in the thank you page, we're going to take some information from them about their app and what they want designing. And you can have advanced automations, but I'm going to leave that out for this video. And then I'm going to leave affiliate because you can actually have an affiliate program if you want people to promote this for you. But we're going to leave that out. And that's it, finished. We can add that in if you want to do tracking. But that's fine, we've created our product. So there you go. So then what we need to do now is we need to create the thank you page where they're actually going to order. So in order to do that, we're going to use forms. So I'm going to click on forms here. And forms is basically like an opt-in form, but we can take lots more information from them. And when they fill in this form, all that information is going to be stored next to their name inside leads, inside their email list, wherever they're stored. So we can go into that later um, and find all the information and all the questions they answered about the apps and then place the order on Fiverr. So you just come here and you click new form and it's app design. And then it starts off with first name and email address, but obviously we want to take a lot more information from them about their order. So a good way to do this is actually um, order from Fiverr, like spend the money to place your order. Because on the next page after that, it starts to ask you questions like they've got a similar form. So you can just copy that depending on what niche you're doing. I'm not going to do that now, but I will just add in some questions. So. So we just click new field, custom field, and it'll be like text input, name, name of your app. Save. And it adds it there. And you just have more, and you could just add like a drop down menu where you want to ask questions about the type of app, or, or is it going to be Android app or uh, no, no, um, iOS? Or you could ask colors or color codes, or if there's any images that they want to add into it, all that kind of thing. I'm not going to do that now again because I don't want this video just to be take so long on these, these little bitty things. Um, but that's ultimately what you do click save, save and next. Single opt-in because it's actually an opt-in form, but we're going to use it for this. Um, and then the success page um, is the page that they um, complete. So we're going to configure that later. Click save and next. Now we don't want to send them a welcome message. We can do if you want, but I'm not going to do that. You can assign tasks, tags again, or subscribe to lists and all that kind of thing. But we've already got their information when they place the order. So we don't really need to do anything like that. And we're going to use it inside that. So we click save and then save and next and congratulations. And then we're done. So then what we want to do is create the thank you page, which takes the information before we create the main sales page. So all we do is go to pages inside of Kartra. Click on the green button on the right hand side. And here they've got lots of different templates. So they've actually got pre-made thank you pages for us already. Um, so you just choose one of these. So I'm just going to select this one at the bottom, launch builder, thank you app order. So this is the pre-made um, thank you page, really basic. I'm not going to spend too long on this because I want to show you the actual main page that we're going to build. Um, but in this instance, we have a service based this business model, we just want them to be right, redirected after they've purchased to the form which they are going to fill out with their information. So we don't actually need what's on here. Um, 
But basically, the way Kartra's page builder works, just to show you, is separated between components and columns. So components is all of these little areas like text and images. So while this is highlighted below, you can just edit all of these and it's got lots of different um, components down here. Um, and then you can actually go to columns if you wish to like edit the main chunky bits, like which house these things. So that's kind of how the setup is. That'll make more sense when I'm editing a proper page a little bit later on, but it's fully responsive as well. And you don't need to re-edit it on the, on the mobile version either. So make sure as well when you're editing, if you click on columns, if you're on columns, you'll try to edit something and you won't be able to get into it. It's because of that. So you need to go back to components and then you can edit all of these little bits. And it's pretty straightforward. You just hover over them and you've got a little edit button or a, a cross. So in, I'm just going to delete these, these sections. And then I'm actually just going to add the form. So what you do is you go to components on the left hand side, scroll down. So it's got all of these bits, which I'm not going to go into now, I'll show you on the main page. And then we go to opt in fields. And then we're going to drag that to here. And that's just a placeholder. I know it says opt in field, but this is just how we're going to do it. And then we click the little pencil icon and then you can select your opt in form, which you created earlier. That's why you create the opt in form first. Click app design, click apply. And as you can see, it's got the form which we created before, but this will have lots more questions about what they actually want designing or the service that you're offering and then we would have that leading through to the thank you page. So that's all fine. So I'm just gonna click here and click um, save progress. Actually, I'm just gonna publish that for now. And then you can get the page link, which we don't need to deal with for now. Close that. And we're just gonna go back to pages. And then we need to build out the main page. So we click here. And as I said, there's lots of templates down here. So you would just, Go to like you can have a look at them squeeze page templates um, but inside the actual builder you, there's loads of elements that you can drag in that are pre-designed as well which is quite cool but we'll just go for a long sales page now the template I used previously on the book example was this one which looks quite familiar but I just changed some bits I'll use a different one for this Preview that. Oh, that's cool. Because it's app designs, it's got phones and apps and stuff on, which makes it easier. So I'm going to go with that one. So we just click select and launch builder. App design home. Click create. So now we just have the freedom to edit this however we want to sell our service. Now this has been designed by marketers, so it's very well designed already, which means it doesn't need that much editing. So basically we're just gonna go like, it's an app design company. So we will um, just create, so um, the world's number one app. prototype agency, something like that. I mean, you can make it all, I will just put it all on one line, make it a little bit cleaner. Get rid of that, we don't need that. And then we'd cre create a logo for it. So um, we need the name, so I'll just call it like the app. I'd like to do something which is like based around whatever it is, so like, pretty matter of fact, like the app design company or something like that. Uh, but you just could create a logo in like Canva. So just go to canva.com. So just go to canva.com and this is the one that I created for the creative book company. So I'm just gonna go in and edit this. Um, and I'm gonna call this the app, um, app, 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 Apple. Oh, that's quite cool. Apple, so it sounds like happily. Apple design. I mean, that's a little bit like, it doesn't really say what it does, but I quite like that. Um, I mean, I'll get rid of that. 
and I'll change the color. I quite like the color that's behind it and it saves me having to edit it. So I kind of want to bring a bit of that into the logo. So a good little tool to have, which is a little Chrome extension called Color Picker. Um, it's free, you just click pick color from page and then you can go into your template, hover over it and it puts the color up there. Um, so we've got that color pick up, we go back to Canva, edit the thing and then we just paste and it will automatically paste in that color. So I'm gonna have that and then, I mean that does, it looks a bit weird that color actually, but there we go. Get rid of that. That will do for this example. Make it a bit bigger. Apple design, there you go. Download, transparent, compress, download. Another thing as well, when you're uploading images to Kartra, it's always best to compress them. So either use TinyPNG, which is a website, tinypng.com, um, and compress your images, or if you've got Canva, the, the paid version of Canva, you can do it in Canva as well. Um, so then we just come here and you, all you do is you want to edit something, hover over it, click the little pencil icon which lets you edit it, and you just click edit, and then you just click upload, and then we upload that. There we go, Apple Design logo, click apply, and we've added it to the top. Um, so now we've started to get a bit of an ages ago and I've only spent like a few minutes just doing this and it's already got the phones here. So what I would do with this button is just I'd get rid of that one because we want just one call to action. We just want them to be able to do one thing. Um, and I'll change that, click the little pencil icon, go to text, click get started, apply. And then what you would do is you could link this to a certain area on the page. So it's not linked at the moment. And if we scroll down to the bit where we take payment, this bit, if you click on the little red cog, and you can see it's section nine. So then what we do is we go up here, back to the top, click on the bottom, click on link, and then we wanna to scroll to a particular section on the page. And then we wanna just choose section nine and click apply. And we do that with all of these for the different features and stuff. Um, and with this button. And then here we've already got this pre-made thing. So what I would do is, is when you're um, advertising a service, is get the images if possible from the fiber seller that you're using. So there's no, no difference between the, the thing that you're selling. I just come to the seller and I wouldn't choose Items, well, they've already got the Fiverr watermark on, so that's work they've done for other people. But the actual, the first few of them are usually examples um, of what they're offering. So click on that, just download it. Um, but for this instance, because I've already got the mock-up and it's an iPhone, it's like a, a phone app, I'm just gonna screenshot this just to make this quicker for each thing. So I can just upload it faster, but this is gonna, make the quality not as good. So then we come back to Kartra, and then this is a placeholder. So the good thing about Kartra is, if you click on components, it's got mock-up compositions built into the, the page builder. So you can just add things um, and then add the pictures that are behind these, like phones and stuff and mock-ups, which is pretty cool. And it's quite handy for an, an app design company. Um, we just click here, the little pencil icon, edit the image, upload. And then we just click open. Select confirm, apply. Now I think that needs to be a little bit further down. So I'm just gonna go to style. Set as minus 100, we're gonna put that to zero. There we go, we can see more of the app there. Um, so that image one done. There you go, so I've just done those three images. So look, already we've got the world's number one app prototype agency. Oh, I should change that to design app 
prototype design. So it's very specific what we're offering, but it's very clear. We're not actually making the apps, we're just designing them as a prototype. Um, and then you would just come in here and you would edit this. I mean, I'm not gonna go through and edit all the text in this example, but you would just put like things that are gonna sell at professional, affordable, perfection, try and put more examples of work. Um, this is quite a handy thing here. So it's already got this app here. So I could change that image. Put that one in it or use a different one, apply. And then you could put little key points like professional font design, high quality images, la 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 la, and explain what you do. Get rid of that, we don't need that. And then testimonials. So this is something that everyone asked me about in the previous, when I showed the previous example. Now, when you're offering a service, in order to make sales, you need to offer some kind of testimonial because people, how can people trust you that you're gonna do a good job? So what I do, when I use this drop servicing, I go to the Fiverr seller, which I'm using, I go down to their reviews, and I find some good five-star reviews. It's saying Z worked efficiently, but I'll just say, worked quickly, efficiently, copy that. And we come here and we just hit the little text button to edit text, and we're just gonna paste it in. And we've got a little quote. Now, these are royalty-free images, which we could use, which is what I used on mine. You can change the names, that says she's called John, even though it's a woman. Change the names, maybe add a term, a thing in the background, in the, in the terms of your page at the bottom, which just says, testimonials are real, but actors' faces were used to, um, to protect identity. Something like that, like they do on TV with TV adverts. Because you're actually using real testimonials for the service which we're offering. So that's absolutely fine. And then here, we've got the pricing plans. So this is where we're gonna connect our funnel with the, the products which we created earlier. So you can have three separate plans here. Um, we added three separate prices, so that's perfect. So all we would do, you could change the text here. Obviously we need to change the price. So we caught the first plan was 97, and we can say exactly what it is, like one page design. Um, and try and think of some other plus points that we can add for it. So they get they get a source file. And this is the great thing about it because five is already there. We just literally copying and pasting. They don't get commercial use with that, that basic one, but you could just say like, I think they get, I saw it somewhere before, they also get something here free. They get a mock-up image, like so I think it's like actually being used, like this kind of thing in reality. So we can add that in as well, like free, free lifestyle mock-up, something like that. So then we just hover over the button, click the little pencil icon and edit where this button goes to. So we just go to link. So what you can do here, you can, you can Link to another Kartra page, which has a checkout on it, which is what I did with this example um, here. So they click checkout, takes you through to a separate page. And then on this page, they fill in their details, choose the package that they want, and then go ahead with it. Now what you can do, is which I actually prefer to do. I was just testing that out with that and I wanted to add tracking onto the checkout page to see who reached it. So it's up to you which one you want to do. But what looks cleaner is actually adding a pop-up checkout. So you just click on this and click pop a, check, a product checkout and then scroll down and then you select product funnel which is basically the product we created earlier. Click on app design and you select your products. So it's the app design product. Then we select our price point. So it's price point one, which was the, the cheapest one. And then you can use um, the default checkout page or you can use an overlay checkout form. So we're gonna obviously use the overlay checkout form, which I just said. I'll just preview that so you can see it. So when they click that button, this will pop up. And it's like a little clean checkout page, mobile app user interface mock-up, they click continue, fill in their um, billing details, and then purchase.
So then we click apply and then we're done. So that's set up. I'm not going to set the next three up because it's the same process as I just showed you, but you just add in the prices there and you connect them to the, the price point two, price point three. Um, and then you can offer all free services. And then I just delete things like this because you only want one place where they can purchase. I know we're giving them free prices, but it's very specific exactly where we want them to go. It's always good to have a money back guarantee as well on your page. And obviously if you're using Fiverr, when someone places an order, they have um, like, I think it's 24 hours or something like that to um, review it and see whether they actually want it. So what I do is I make sure that when someone purchases from me, they're aware that there's a 24 hour turnaround. They need to give feedback within 24 hours, otherwise they won't be able to get the refund, um, which is what I do. And that works really, really well. So that's kind of what we do. And then here you can have frequently asked questions. I mean, I don't have that, but that can help. If it's, it's quite a specific thing and, and you're not gonna be speaking to anyone on the phone, then um, it's best to, to have as much information on the page as possible to make sure that nothing's left for them to worry about. And then you'd add in your about pages down here, which I'm not gonna do, but you could just, if you wanted to do it, as I said earlier, and just have it as a pop-up so they're not going anywhere, like for the privacy policy, you just click the little pencil icon, click link, and then you actually just want to click pop a content box, which is this. And then if you scroll down here, it's got lots of little pop-ups. And you basically just take one of those, drag it on, and then you can just delete the bits you don't need. And if you want to mess with it, you can click columns, if you want to kind of get rid of that side so then it's, it's more like actual text. And then you're copying your privacy policy and your terms and all that kind of thing. And you've got that sorted as well. And sometimes on character as well, the little the button to get off of this is, is usually hidden for some reason. So if you're ever looking for it, it's up there, hidden, done. <clears throat> so let's just preview this because I want to show you what we've done so far. We've done quite a bit considering this video is probably quite long, but... I basically just started a full business from scratch with a product, with a profit margin, with everything, and you've not needed to speak to anyone in China or do any drop shipping or do any um, buy stuff for Amazon FBA. You've got a fully fledged business here and it didn't take long to create. So this is the page that I've created so far. Looks pretty professional, looks pretty cool. App design company, obviously I didn't finish it, but it gives you a good indication of what you would need to do. And if they click get started here, scrolls them straight through a split second to the pricing plans. They click get it now. Loads of payment service and click continue. And then it, they fill in the details, place their order. And then it will redirect them after they've purchased to the thank you page, which you add to the original product. So you go back to the product, add in the thank you page link, which I skipped earlier, and it will redirect them to that thank you page, so then they fill out that form, which you can then go back into later on to um, complete the purchase. Also, what you can do, instead of having them purchase this service and just go straight through to the form, um, fill in their details and complete the order, you can have upsells, one-click upsells. So when they've purchased from you, they've entered their, their details, rather than sending them straight through to the form to complete their order, you send them through to another offer and say, oh, do you want this special deal on this extra add-on, um, which can increase the amount of money that you make. So the great thing about Fiverr is, and I think I showed you this before, but they've got them. If you go to the order now page on your thing, you can add extras. So basically Fiverr has got upsells. So you can just take these upsells, add them into your own funnel as an upsell, and then add profit on. So you're making even more money from the same customers. So like this one here, interactive mock-up, 25 pounds. So they'll create a clickable demo that it can be used for testing and reference for designers. So rather than just being a standard design, which is what they've paid for, we're gonna give them a clickable design for 25 pounds. So we could charge 50 pounds for that or $50 for that. So if you wanted to add an upsell into your cartridge funnel, what you would do, is you need the, the upsell product. So you come back to the, the product which you've already created and create another product. 
um, and here it asks you for the upsell. So this will be um, at upsell. You can call it whatever you like. And then you select the funnel, it's app design. And then you would just fill in the details. It's the same setup as the other product, really. You set in the name and, and any post sale and stuff like that. And the pricing, and that's all added in there, which I'm not gonna do just now. But when you add an upsell, like I've started here, one thing you need to make sure you do, you need to make sure you point the, the original product in the settings, it asks you for the thank you page. You need to change the thank you page from the standard thank you page, that the form they fill in, to the upsell page. So it'll go check out, and instead of a standard, um, the, the check the thank you page, it will lead them through to the upsell page. And then on the upsell product, you need to send that thank you page through to the official thank you page. If that makes sense, that sounds quite complicated now, I've said so many thank you pages but you just need to make sure that this points to this. Um, but obviously you need to create the upsell page as well before you actually do that. So you just go back to pages, click on new page, and then it actually has templates for upsell pages. So you've, they've got you covered here. Um, so it could just be, I'll just choose this one for now. So this is what the upsell page will look like. Thank you for your order check out this one time offer. So we could say, thank you for your order. Do you want a, what was the thing that they're selling here? A clickable demo. Do you want a clickable non-functioning demo? Which doesn't sound too good, so I'd be a bit more. Do you, do you want to um, bring your app design to life? That's what you should say. Do you want to bring your app design to life? with a clickable, but non-working, chop that in, but non-working um, mock-up. La 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 la, you get the picture. I've spelled that wrong, but that's fine. Um, and you can have the information here if you want. And then this button to upgrade is what you would connect to the product that you just created the upsell product there you go and you will have an upsell for that and then if they purchase you set it up so you, the, the thank you page of that product takes you through to the form thank you page okay i'm getting really really hot now so that is it we're just going to leave it there i hope you 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 like this video and it was informative and showed you kind of the process of creating a, a funnel in kartra if you need more information, let me know. But I feel like what I've showed you, I know I rushed through some bits and I've missed bits out here, but that's the, the basic concept of building a sales funnel for a drop servicing business using Kartra. You find your product on Fiverr, you uh, create your product inside of um, Kartra with multiple price plans, add your margin on top, and then build out the pages which lead through to that and you can add upsells and everything. And if you see me design this really quickly while on camera, just think what you could do if you spend a few days putting together a website. You could design something amazing. So that's everything for this video. If you watched it to the end, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below that you watched it until the end. And that's everything. Until next time, cheers guys.